sorry I didn't see y'all there. So the poster box is done. It looks good here on the wall. Now I need to go back and add the poster to it. And that's going to complete this project. But, in order for you to find out what poster is going in this, you got to stick around and see how we make this and you'll find out at the end. So check out another one of my next projects as we build this poster box. Studio Epic. cuts we're gonna rip them at three and a half inches I've already rough cut both of these boards now I'm gonna cut them to 42 and a quarter for the final dimensions this one will also be cut to final dimensions this is going to be 26 and 3 quarters. And these are the braces that I'll put on later. You don't see me glue it here, but I assure you that I glued both of the ends in. And I put two screws on each side. So in order to help hold this thing square, what I'm going to do is take a couple of boards and it's going to go down here at the bottom and I'm going to screw and glue it into this bottom plate and that should help strip squares up if we're out of square any. But what I will do is I am going to go ahead and flip this over so I can make sure that this piece is aligned with the what's going to be the back. I measured up 20 inches from the bottom on each side and I'm going to glue and screw in this middle brace. I'm going to line the bottom of this brace up with the 20 inch marks I made. That way it will help stay in line with the bottom of this. I only put one screw because I don't think that two is necessary. I don't know that this middle brace is necessary, but for the way I'm going to do the back part, I wanted the extra support. So now we're going to go and put a screw in the ends down here and then put one in the middle here. After checking this, it turns out we're in line and we're perfectly square. Here I'm simply going ahead and cutting the 45 degree angle for the French cleat system to hang this on the wall. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you already know my favorite way to hang anything on the wall, especially anything that has any kind of weight, is the French cleat. In fact, since I discovered it, I don't think I've hung anything on the wall with any other any other way except with the French cleat. So what I'm going to do is just take some glue. Spread it out on these. 
Now we'll just staple these to the side, flush with the back. Or I'm sorry, nail these to the side. You can see that I've spread glue out here. Now I'm going to piece this back together and it should stay in place with the glue. To help the glue hold, I'm going to add these boards here to spread the weight evenly and then add some weight to the boards. As I get started here, I cut a bunch of these strips into the same length so I could go ahead and get started. The first couple rows I peeled the backing off all the way through and did this and I found that it was easier if I left the backing on and peeled it off a little at a time. You'll see this here in a minute after I get these first few rows done. Honestly this took probably an hour and a half to two hours to do this. The hardest part of this and it's edited out of the videos is just getting the pill to start off the back I had so much trouble and there may be an easier way to do it than I did but I just could not get the back to peel off of this and you see that this first few rows are and now you can see I'm going to pulling it off a little bit at a time and that for sure worked a lot better as we speed up and get past the majority of it we're going to come back and I just continuously row after row and this is sped up to four times the actual time it took me, so it took a while to do this, and we're still not finished. Like I was saying, there's, there's a few spots where I miss. It's not touching each other, so what I'm going to do is I cut these in thirds. I'm going to go back and put these little strips over them. I started at the top, and I went to the sides, and simply went all the way around the box, putting the top layer on. This actually wasn't too difficult. You can see it's kind of wrinkled at the beginning but overall this wasn't too bad. The next part was pretty difficult. In fact you'll see me here throwing this first strip away because it did not go on like I expected it to. So in order to save time in the video link, what I'm going to show you I did here is simply, after I get it peeled off, is do a little bit at a time. So I cut these small strips and did this all the way around. This did take a while, but in the end this looked really good. Before I got started doing any of this, the first thing I did was make sure the LEDs worked. Next I made black lines on the end of each of the box they would mark where these LED strips was going to go. That made it easy lining these up. I could just pull it tight and then go through there. Next I had to uh, join the two strings together and there's a little clip there. You just slide it in each side to the LED and it locks into place and presto it worked. And it, I tried it right here and you can tell looks like it works great. So I continued on. I will tell you those black lines I made you can't see them on the box but they were a lifesaver making it so easy to put these on. This is definitely sped up as you can tell but it took me about 30 minutes to put all these down. And now the snap frame that I ordered and this is what made this project so expensive because this little guy right here. This thing I think was right at $60, maybe a little less. It came with four screws and anchors to put it onto the wall, but I broke this box as you guys watched. So I'm just going to run these screws straight into here. And now I think we're ready to put this on the wall. Oh, sorry I didn't see y'all there. So the poster box is done. So I got my poster in there. And yeah, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle poster. 
This is from the movie that came out, I guess, in 2014. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you guys like this video. And like I said, this is a little, I don't know if I told you guys, this was a little bit more expensive project than I normally spend on myself at least. But I really like the way it turned out. I'll leave links in the description below for the LEDs, the power supply, the frame, and the aluminum tape. So you, if you guys want to want to check it out, you can. So thanks again for watching, and as always, y'all will see me next time. If this happens to be the first video of mine you've stumbled upon, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this, chances are you may like some of my other content as well. And now, at the end of the month, I'll be doing a project recap, where I recap the videos from the month. So if you have questions, make sure you leave those below, and I'll answer them at the end of the month. And you may not have a question, but that's okay. You can leave me a comment and tell me what poster you would put in the box if you made this for yourself.